Proceed. If Lauren Hardy, I don't know what in the third man, I'd put him in. The Poe faced one. Treble 16 to shot. 90. Kevin Eric Hoyer, 119. Baxter sitting on a sweet little two dart there. Shot's on there for Kev. Right, Ronnie, look at the 16 and double it. Ronnie requires 48. Topsy wants. Topsy needs to dip. I well, try. he can do it in that dart. Kevin he can get the dip without trying. Sometimes when he tried, he can't get the dart to drop. The contrast in styles, look. A good 10 or 15 seconds, he just composed himself again. Topsy wants. First well, I think he's composed a little long there. Two semi quivers, too long. And that's music to Baxter's ears. Two legs to nil. He needs to win this set. And his lady, Rachel, keep getting shots off. Uh, did not star in a film called Little Voice. Nice third dot. Fine pin. Middle of the session. Fourth game of the day. Ronnie's chasing it. Well, it's, it's amazing to think that uh, in the 11 years that we've been I coming here to the Circus Tavern, Baxter's never got past the quarterfinals. Well, I just used the standard of the last Duke of here, but also there's something maybe with the lights camera action, the smell of the crowd, the roar of the grease paint that puts Ronnie slightly off at the vital moments. Sad to say, to put dots on telly, you need an awful lot of luminescence. 1,200 jam-packed into the Circus Tavern on New Year's Day. They, handy. they haven't got a hangover, and neither of the players. Trying to pressure this two dart there. 100. Right, Johnny will go eight tops again for the set to peg back. There's the easy bit. There's the dip, and there's the marker. Is that the same? No fourth dot. Kevin, you require 75. Now Painter can punish Ronnie Baxter here. Again, just the the pause for thought. Well, I think I think he may have got into uh, to single two. He has trouble 19. Good recovery to get himself deep out of clag to it. 59. Well, surely Baxter won't miss this time, Sid. Can't see him missing this for two one in sets. Has to go high for double five. That flight and a bit of the stem. It was the angler went in that put the markers on him. Kevin, you require six Seven darts he's missed for the set, Ronnie Baxter. Kevin Painter knows he shouldn't still be alive in this third set. Two weights to stop the Baxter charge. Although Baxter is probably the, the guy who's making the blood come out of his own horse's flanks here. Full play. He cannot us. afford at this stage of the World Game Championships on. with this quality of an opponent to miss that many darts to win a set. When that opponent will batter you like that. That last three darts, the reason why I said I don't think Ronnie can come back from two zip. One stick to me. Neck out, just know that as you picked out so smartly. He's a mixture of adrenaline and ice between the lugs, Pinda. The thinking man's daughter looks like a hungry carrion crow sitting on a branch, but knows where not to swoop. 100. A
predator. Look at this. Predator redos. 121. A lucky painter. To nick a leg. And then a smash back with 125 average. Brilliant. A lucky Baxter, the wrong bed. Leaves the treble. 60. But he will be back. Baxter struggling again in this leg. Will he be thinking about those missed doubles? No, no. He doesn't think when he plays, Ronnie. It's one of his problems. Every time to think. Obviously, once. Time to swoop, perfect. Two tens. And the wire, perfect mark. Oh, yes! yes. You want to replay that? It shows a perfect way of using the mark. Just watch this. He used tangential adjacency to the marker. Ronnie goes for a lure. Brilliant. Baxter, you feel, has to win this leg. He's already missed seven darts for the set. But what about this from Painter? I've just composed it five seconds in X. Horrible. Horrible for this fella. Well, they are hammering the trebles. This is sensational darts. Everything else has been the starters. You mean the hors d'oeuvres, Sid? Welcome from. They put 100. sub on the hors d'oeuvre. Well, please put Magic match, magic atmosphere. Sensational stuff from both Ronnie Baxter and Kevin Painter. Look at this. Yep. Oh, this is a pulverization. The last, the last 21 darts from Painter have been amongst the best I've ever seen in the circumstances. But Ronnie. He's got a chance to change that complexion. Two tens for Baxter, and again he misses a dart for the set. Right, to make the painter's dream of a whitewash look like realization, two darts to make it look like a parade. This would be an 11 dark leg to win the set still a chance how to use the marker like that he used the exact same shot he used on the double 10 the last 35 dots the most vicious we've had this week painter in command at three seven sets baxter missed eight darts to win that set by three legs to nil there's Kevin's lady, Janine. And instead, he's lost it, 3-2. And Peyton needs one for the match. Well, this really has been amazing stuff from these two. 95, the average for Painter. 94, the average for Baxter. But uh, the difference is Painter is checking out. And we've had three sets at nearly 40%. That's Taylor-esque in its performance. Oh, we don't mean Elizabeth. You've got to put the tension somehow, folks. And we are tense as two takes, your commentary team. Although apparently swayed and relaxed. Not only composing this time, doing a bit of Canadian calisthenics with the tense shoulders. And the important thing as well, Sid, is that that, uh, that steal by Kevin Painter in I the last do. set, he is throwing first in set number four, and you would have got long, long odds on a Painter whitewash this afternoon. 43. Look at those then, the dominant column in favours in favors Painter is 15 to 8 in the 140s. Second column, the important one. But look at that, 9. 100. 1.5 is 92.6. Uh, Ronnie sticking the limp dart in there. 100. Current of certainty in the middle. Well, those eight darts, which would have taken Baxter. Oh, hang on a minute. 
140. Yep. The ton, ton 40s from Cater. That really, apart from uh, Baxter's own problems with the double, is what has hurt Ronnie this afternoon. One of the earliest uh, big championships ever saw. Yes, Gour. With the 70s, Cliff Inglis of Bristol won a major with his pal shout and get him off your back, which means hit within the leg, make him always need 180. This is what Paint has done here. He has pulverized Baxter in the last three and a half legs. 84. Good thinking there from Painter. He's forced now to go for this awkward one past the marker. 60. So he only ends up with 60. 40. Tops to continue the parade. Can't see it stopping. Good job that wasn't. Oh, don't know what's happened here. I don't know what's happened at all. He just didn't line up straight with the target. But he did the right thing. He took a step back, composed himself. Right in the middle of the bed. There's no stopping the painter man in Perfleet. I suggest to my good friend Alex Roy, the mouth of the south, watches this take and learns just that. When in doubt, take time out. The world number 10, Kevin Painter. The world number 7, Ronnie Baxter. 140. I must admit, I did fancy 4-zip either way. I thought Baxter could also win this 4-0. Or I thought we'd gone to 3 or 4, maybe 6 legs, 7 into number 7 set. Painter, who reached the semi-finals here last year, then had a nightmare first six months of 2003. His answer, he takes his dart seriously, was to go and see a sports psychologist. It's worked. 100. Two legs he wants. It's just too high on the cover. It's too high on the cover. 57. Ditto. Well, 57 from Painter. I mean, that is a total disaster compared to, uh, to the way he's been throwing for the rest of this match. 60. For the first time, a bit of body language information, a bit of droop in the mighty shoulders of Baxter. Here we go again. His fourth of the match and three in the last four legs, and that is why Kevin Pato is within touching distance of the quarterfinals. To cite a super analogy, normally Baxter's broth. Here he's consume. Kevin here for 66. To go within one leg of the last eight. Face of a gunfighter. Hand of a swordsman. Mind of a predator. Double 16 to stick more nails in the Baxter coffin. 50. A chance that Baxter cannot afford to make a mess of. Double 16 now. Well, Baxter says it for now. He does it his own way, Sid. And you've got to say, but apart from one leg, when he missed all those darts at double bin, Baxter hasn't played that badly. But came there in the throwing seat in this 16. And the fifth leg. The way he's thrown, he could win it before that in the leg after this. 100. Slackerama by Ronnie. An inch away from the target with two of those darts, not good enough. Oh, is that a chink? That's not. 96. Well, Kevin Painter celebrated his 36th birthday just a, a couple of days ago. And the way he's played this 60. afternoon, he's in the top half of the draw. The draw, not Taylor's half, rather. So, there's a... A lot of players with a great opportunity of getting through to 100. Sunday's final here at the Circus Tavern. Right, should be first at the double. 
especially Baxter not hitting 93. more than one trouble last visit. You would certainly, Anthony Tyner, have, have at least two darts in a double for two, one. 60. Only 60. Right. Keep it going stats-wise. Ronnie needs at least 100 or better. And they don't get much better than that. Rachel bellowing her encouragement. I think I'd rather have a praying mantis to be corner than her. Nice. But he says not. He relates to that scream from his lady. Double 16 coming in. Brilliant Baxter. He stays alive. He'll be throwing for the set. You never ever rule Robbie out. Playing a tremendous set here. Trying to have the darts in one, three, and we'll have it five. Ronnie can stop proceedings running against them fairly soon. Sixty. Only sixty. And all of a sudden, the spring in the step that we've seen from Kevin Painter. Last couple of legs, as you mentioned, only sixty. He'd been hammering 60. the 140s. We saw three maximums in four legs. He needs to uh, to find that again. But you see, no limp dot for most of this. As Ronnie said before, he came out here two hours ago. At least one of them was dipping. Painter can follow up a slack visit with a maximum. Nice. And I bet you these three, one of these dots in the 60, at least. Unlucky, oh, so nearly another one. Well, Painter's already stolen the throw from Baxter. So if Painter manages 60. to win this leg, he'll be throwing for the match. But a Can match of high quality. He's on a 95 average. Single nine. 89. Uh, good thinking from Painter. He'll be back for double 16. Oh, Desperately four. needed. That trouble line needs really to pressurise this two. shot. And now all Baxter can do is watch. Oh, this is awkward. You've got to make your mind up fast to go high or low. Oh, well, where did that one go? How did he get that dart round the back of the marker? Tell me. Well, like Shane Warm, that was darting leg spin. Thank you. That would have bamboozled Bradman. You put a bat in front of your left knee, and it nearly hits your hip. Here he is, throwing for the match to round off one of the most impressive performances so far at the 2004 World Championships. When we started today, Simon Wackley off his match against Sam's with 140. 140. Sam's stepped the up, he did 140. Have this pal, have some pasty, and that's been the motto for the last five and a half hours. The standard has slipped. Manley and Della. 4-2 to Manley, but uh, a lot closer than that. Some brilliant darts there. A Warren up needing to dig deep to beat Alex Roy 4-3. All right, I've known in the game and I've been for 20 odd years. Is sticking me lip out. Payne is a future world champion. He has got everything. You've noticed. You spotted that down, that little pause sometimes at the key time. 60. Some of the lads like Alex Roy will have to learn. Can He's a massive aggression, but he rarely loses shape. And what a way to win the match. There he is again, just thinking about it. It's almost like a dance lesson. Slow, slow, quick, quick, bang. 
What an ask then. Baxter. What an ask. Baxter got 170 in his match against Claris. He needs 170 to stay in this match. Opponent on a two daughter to beat him. You won't get darts any better than this anywhere else on the planet. The composure is ready. Can the execution match the imagination? Imagination's over. He wants double 16 for the match. Too much power. But Painter missed three darts at the match against Williams to win it 4-1. Tops for Baxter. To save the match. On the wire. Right now, will he follow the Stuart Pike principle of successful darting? All right, said from a fat seat here. He does it again. He composes. Thank you. He wobbles every muscle from his left ear to his right ankle. He is composed now, he strikes. He's given himself problems with that lie. He's in the wrong pair has to do this. Sim shot to double hit. 16. <laughs> Nerves. <laughs> Nerves from Painter. He looked nailed on for 4-0. And Ronnie's Composition is a little sidestep to the left, right, and into the 10. The lie is easy to hit and take in. Yes! Baxter stays alive. How will that affect Kevin Painter's confidence? He should have won it, but he hasn't. It's 3-1 to Painter, an epic at the Circus Tavern. Ladbrokes.com World Darts Championship on Sky Sports. As Barnum said to Bailey, he won steamy night in Saratoga. Let's go into the circus business, but well, we're in the circus dart business, the greatest show on earth, the best tournament in the world, and look at what's happening in this match. Well, quality from both players. Started off like a train, the standard just dipping a little in that uh, in that fourth set, but. That is top tungsten from uh, Baxter and Painter. And even though Painter threw one up, that third set showed how tight Ronnie pulled it, but he's no stranger to tight fights, is Painter, is he? And it could be in one now because Painter, in, his, uh, in the last round, was 3 1 up against Paul Williams, had four darts for the match, missed them, and in the end, 100. had to struggle through 4 3. 3-0 up against Baxter, four darts for the match, he's missed them, and now we'll wait and see. And that's that counter showing that this is going to be a problem. Thank you, the best to order, leg in averages. So there's no sound of them buckling. Oh, dissolving with a sweaty competition. Well, you, uh, you called it in the last set, you said that you think Kevin Painter will be a future world champion. His temperament 60. has sometimes been called into question, and I wonder how much he'll be thinking about those darts that he missed for the game. If he can, if he can get them out of his mind. Yesterday's memories were him. I like the makeup of his mind. Great darts. As good as a maximum from Painter. I'll tell you one fact that will come in as well. When seven Ronnie's six. thrown in his best, the three go out of his hand in about seven 24. seconds. But sometimes he loses the line. So if he's confident, you know he's going to miss occasionally. Two twelves to Pina. And, and he takes the, the leg pointer. against the throw. So the point I'm making is that even seven at eight. top pace and Kevin's top ball, Baxter makes mistakes. 
he knows that was an important leg to win against the darts sloppy 40 only Perfect. Ah, Leggy. Oh, yeah, that one take. Now, you see, if the dip's coming in with two markers like that, which he said it was in practice, he's in trouble. Good adjustment from Painter. 130. Especially in third dart. Four sets, and you're the winner. And it just needs this set. 100. Well, talking to him before the start of this game when he had a, a really wretched first half of 2003. He was saying in the practice room that uh, he should have been arrested for impersonating a darts player. And that's honestly for you. He knew, but he takes it seriously. He's a, a professional Kevin Painter. 100. The darts pays the mortgage. He does about 75, 80 exhibitions a year. Travels the country. Awkward lie. Miss the country. Nice yards. Very good last dodge. 161. Both on a three dodge finish. Trouble 17. Right then. 102. I went for the ball anyway. Kevin to require 170. Well, and I's an Ipswich fan. I bet if you're the cheer in Ipswich, if you can. Put another one there and then we're on the ball. Oh, too high, too high. 60. Brody required 59. Baxter to get the throw back. Topsy ones. Oh, oh well. In. See, he's talking about the limps earlier. That's dipping it below the 60. If he's got problems, that was the that was the shot where you push the dart, where the dart has too much weight. Fat 18. Oh, Mr. Big 18. Well, you would not believe that, Said The way he was playing, 18 would have left him double 16. 78. Will that be costly? Two tens. Barrel could be handy or not. Oh. Well, he, you see, it was the lie that beat him there. He over adjusted because he didn't want to endanger the lie, get being a bump lie. Here he goes then. Future world champion. He threw one of the chunkiest shots of the match, but. Third leg, Ronnie to throw foot. Game on. Baxter once again fighting for his life at the World Championships. 100. Only 100. He goes back like one of the great bullfighters, like Domin Guan, and just 92. eases the muleta under the arm. For the bull, Reed Baxter. All right, we're not going to stick any swords in anybody, but you get the metaphor. 121. Slim, elegant daughter. Painter, number 10 in the world, said Steve. by this time next year he wants to be in the top four. And the way he's chucking, you wouldn't bet against it. Absolutely. 100. 100 by Kevin miles ahead. Can afford a bit of slack today, mess. Another one. That was 140. That was uh, typical Baxter. He'll be back for tops. But Payton. He's got a pressure here. Well, no pressure at all. 40. Ronnie requires 40. Right, Ronnie's going to take all the remaining legs in this set. Topsy wants. 20. Well, that echoes what he was telling me two hours, three hours ago in the practice room. The limp and then the 
the push dot. Sixty. Running required twenty. Well, surely double ten for Baxter this time. Save the match. Two fives. Save the match. Fifteen. Same same thing. This time, one push and then one limp. A couple of throws ago, Pater chucked the darts away because he knew this leg was lost. I bet now he wish he hadn't. 164, he can't check it out, but he could have put more pressure on Baxter. Maybe at the Nine back of his mind that Ronnie, Ronnie has to get all five. the legs. Two twos. Barrel could be a friend or a foe. Well, that was sloppy because he never hit that barrel at the right angle, even to go in. He was 250 72. points behind in this leg, and now he's got an opportunity yet again to win the match. In Ireland, three and a half years ago, he nearly beat Taylor. Two and a half years ago, he did beat Taylor. He's been in rooks like this before. Match point to Kevin Pinder on tops. 52. Make that five darts he's missed for the match. Purgatory for his lady Janine. And can he limbo into this? Double one. Can he limbo? He's a private dancer. She likes it. Here's another look at this shot. And I mean limbo. Dipped in the last two inches. Now, will this be the moment that Kevin Painter finally sees off Ronnie Baxter 100. and books his ticket into the quarterfinals of the 2004 Labrooks.com World Championships? 83. Lost the line and had a limp one just below the 60. You won't see Painter, I think, drift. You won't see him drift right or left. You might well see Ronnie drift right or left. Playing awkwardly close to the right hand corner. 140. Good response though from Baxter. Just uh, reminds Painter that he's still around. Lovely room for improvement. Oh, say so did this more than not. 100. 100 in it. Painter should be a doubles one or two. But Ronnie is not slacking. He can get a maximum here. I see it easily bar for him. No, he went for the treble 18, missed it. So Baxter shot, decided to deliberate leave of 140 there. 100. Right, now, to save the match. This would be vintage Baxter. Opportunity knocks for right. Kevin Painter. Two darts. Can at last take the match? Having missed a handful of doubles to take it. He wants fat 13, which is an ominous number sometimes. There's the fat bit. Now for the skinny. Well, with didn't come close. He just had a belt. He's now missed six darts for the match. Save the match, Baxter. Two tens. Nice. And Baxter steps in again. And I wonder whether the doubts are starting to creep into the mind of Kevin Painter. Because Baxter is now throwing for the set. Painter has missed six darts, Sid, for the match. This one's through the middle. Oh, perfect last start. Perfect. There we go then. He's thrown slightly too 60. fast for my liking. And he didn't compose in his last double shot. What a match. That swing I've mentioned earlier to the one of the five to decide this duel. Painter is not doing it. Uh, blocks not the risking bed. one past that. Loose dart though. That was single three. 40. Two slotty ones. Running back the groove. 
Howard off, certainly. No, I'm just flies to eye. Sid, I don't care how professional you are, how composed you are, he must know that he should be now in the practice room, sipping on a glass of water, 100. doing a press conference, telling everybody how he's in the quarterfinals, but he ain't. Correct. It must be on his mind. Backstab over your number, so there might be a snidger for up up here. But it looks like we're going to 3 2. 94. Too much weight in the first two 72. shots. To bring us to 3 2 in sets. 70. He won't go for the ball. 32. No need. Painter on 201. 60. No real pressure. And the first shake of the head, the first visible signs. Correct. Top Slovak now. Pulls the set score to 3 2 he drills. Kevin Painter will now be stood there. He's looking down at the hockey. He wipes his hand on the side of his trousers. He's now stepping up. But he's still got to be favoured because he throws first and one, three and five legs. Thank you. Lovely adjustment to the 60. And again. Both and the swagger back in Baxter. Both averaging around 90. Ronnie will believe he can win this from here. At that, there is no doubt. Well, the way Painter was throwing, and Ronnie was having this limp, limp couple of darts at the 60, I thought he couldn't come back from 2-0. He's the, back. All the doubt know. now will be in the mind of Kevin Painter. And it's his turn to throw wildly into the lateral. Oh, I thought that first one was gone in. He'll settle for that. Only 16. 16. Right. Sid reckons Painter is a world champ in the making. But he's got to learn to finish matches off, Sid. He'll know that. He won't need either you or I to tell him. That's right, it has not been brilliant stuff by Ronnie. that has got him back in. It's Painter failing the execution test. Chance to go ahead, yeah. Just too high on the 60. A lot of pressure there. 97. Can he require 40? Opponent on a... 2 dot possibly. So pressure on Pierre. Relief for Painter. Massive relief for Kevin Painter. Second leg, Ronnie to And for Janine as well. Going on! A quality match, said. Only 60, though, is Ronnie. Drops the quality standards. Two in the red bits. Very, very, very interesting. 60. Oh, another chink. A, he didn't compose nine minutes ago for a double. Now the body language is different. 140. And now it's a little too high a low for the 60. The running camp. With their guy ropes tight. And they'll be raising a glass with three or four or five in the Brewers' arms in Siren Sester. Ronnie Baxter, mine host. 41. Level. Goes ahead by 100. 60. Ronnie in the groove. He's made an opportunity with that second dart. So where's he going? Well, I've heard of composing. I've seen Surveyor spend less time on a job. 100. Painter. 
just to remind you, has had six darts for the match. He, sh he had darts to win it 4-0. He had darts to win brilliant, it 4 Brilliant one. shot. Mile away. Mile below. Well, push it to it. To go one leg away from the match again. Wrong trouble. One spot 19. Double tops the opponent on a nice, sweet little two daughter. 51. Well, Kevin Hayter is now talking to himself, chastising himself. Oh, Ronnie Blobs. As we said, there'll always be Blobs, and they quite often involve the one of the five. Well, pressure, pressure, pressure here. Fighter. He needs the old bullfighter spirits. Noises. The banderillas in this are a little shorter than in the Madrid bullring. But the aim is the same. Pierce and win. Two tens. Oh, this is awful. How does he get round that barrel? Yeah. Somehow he did. And Peyton now needs one more leg for the match. But Sid, that was an incredible hit. Shot of the match. To so avoid the flight, yet still not going the wrong bet. Game on, please. Here he goes. For the match, Kevin Pena. Well, it seems that uh, that double really has galvanised Kevin Painter now. But just to remind you, in the last set, Painter 58. was two legs up and he lost it. 160 in this visit means he'll get at least two shots at a double later. He snatched at that. The old jockey Wilson fault, the snatch. You see, 59. if you snatch, it'll dip too early. Oh, but Hayes repeated the Baxter blob. They're going sideways. 55. Couldn't believe it, but you've been right for the last 15 minutes. There are chinks in the armour of Pinder, and now Baxter's problems are coming out. Well, he's at odds with himself, isn't he, Kevin Painter? This game should have been over half an hour ago. He knows it, Baxter knows it, we know it, and the audience knows it, but we're 95. still playing on. But he's still hitting the 60 once each visit. Ronnie wants three. Ronnie ought to get three. Oh, and again, lateral drift. That was a bit half-baked, that applause. Even rich and less. It's on the cards. Well, he... Well, he needs, he needs to go downstairs for cover to leave a shot, Kevin Painter. And that shot ought to be more than 50. It's not... 44. Ronnie looking for a turn up better. 60. Now, if this had been 20 minutes ago, I'd say game over. But there's been... Chinks in the armour. And he does the Baxter blob. 85. But Painter will get another opportunity to win this match. But Ronnie gets the opportunity now to leave a nice little two daughter. More comfortable than 82. 140. Well, great throwing. That was courageous there from Baxter. To had to be, had to be. Piles the pressure on Kevin Painter. Bull to start it. 17 for tops. For the match. And he's missed half a dozen. He, he went in it far too fast. Why is he not composing? Seven match uh, seven darts he's had for the match. Ten. To save the match, tops. Pulls the dart. Now surely keep your eyes. Don't look at his darts at first, folks. Look at this. He's doing the ritual of the baseball player, Nomar Garcia Para. 
Touch the shoulder, touch the wrist. Bang, double yeah. ten! Touchdown winning post! And last, with his eighth start and a double to win, Pena does it! At last! And the ladies kiss! How apt!